This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Monday evening. I'm James Spann. Goodness, what a difference a day can make. Yesterday, we had 74 at 2 o'clock. Today at 2 o'clock, 33. Uh, wow. Let's go in there and take a look at the uh, Skycam images. It is a very frigid, cold March day. That's coming from Birmingham. Uh, looking south, clouds are hanging tough, but no uh, precipitation around. That's a sky came in Haleyville and Winston County. A few little thin spots there, but uh, still mostly cloudy. If you really want sun, you have to go down here to the Alabama Gulf Coast. They have managed to break out in sunshine. And you can clearly see that from the visible satellite image. Most of the state still socked in with clouds, except for parts of Mobile and Baldwin counties. Our storm is lifting out, and that's good. Uh, certainly good news for our friends up north where they've got the snow and ice. We've had, we've been lucky with this one. You know, you've had snow and ice in uh, uh, Dallas, Fort Worth, and Little Rock, and Memphis, and Nashville. But around here, just uh, just kind of cloudy and cold today. And yes, it is cold. 33 at Birmingham at mid-afternoon. Yesterday, it was 74 at the same hour. Look at the 20s up north. We ought to be in the 60s here in early March. The anomalies are remarkable. And this has been a cold, brutal winter for the Deep South. And again, you can see how that uh, bitterly cold Arctic air is really digging in down into Texas in the Deep South. Uh, the only escape is down in Central and South Florida, where they've got the 80s in places like Miami and Daytona Beach. But we'll see moderation in coming days. That's the thing about these late-season cold snaps. They typically don't last long. Uh, all of those winter weather advisories are gone uh, around here. We've still got some over Texas and Louisiana, some over Virginia and West Virginia, Kentucky. All of those will be dropped tonight as this thing winds down. Um, check the QPF chart. This is the expected rain for the next five days. This carries us through Saturday evening. The bigger numbers on the immediate Gulf Coast. Amounts up this way are lighter, a quarter to one-half inch. And it's a very active pattern, so let's get in there and dissect things. Let's talk about it. This is tomorrow at uh, noon. This is at 500 millibars, and you can see that new shortwave energy west of the state. And down below that, rain breaks out over the northwestern Gulf, parts of southeast Texas into Louisiana. And uh, by golly, that will be ultimately sliding into south Alabama tomorrow night. Uh, the day tomorrow should be mostly cloudy. Again, I, you know, the models try and clear this stuff out. I'm not so sure we see much clearing at all uh, tonight or tomorrow morning. I guess it's possible, but not likely. I'd say the day will be cloudy, not as cold. Uh, the high probably upper 40s tomorrow. Now, this is tomorrow night at midnight, and the GFS they, it does want to bring the precipitation farther north, almost up to I-20. And this is suggesting we might need to mention some chance of rain as far north as Tuscaloosa, Birmingham, and Anniston. And this is the high-res NAM, uh, the North American Mesoscale model. And this is actually 4 o'clock tomorrow afternoon, and it's got rain uh, up to I-20, uh, almost Tuscaloosa, Birmingham, Anniston. So uh, I think and the models have not done well with these type systems, and I think clearly we'll need to probably mention some risk of light rain now. Uh, for the I-20 corridor beginning tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow night. Uh, will it rain a lot? No. The better rain will be south of here, but clearly some risk it could rain. And I just don't think we get out of the 40s tomorrow. It's going to be cloudy. Not as cold as today. Nothing like this, but still pretty chilly. Not going to feel very good. And then this is Wednesday. That wave is on by, and Wednesday should be a nicer day. Uh, the sky partly sunny and the high near 60. So, you know, that's going to be really the next decent day will be at midweek on Wednesday. Now, Thursday, here comes this next uh, wave, and that thing is really digging down through here. And down below that, the GFS supports a pretty decent chance of rain on Thursday. Uh, I would say the high would be in the low to mid-50s, no severe weather. Uh, the thickness values are very low, but the thermal values don't support any winter weather mischief. This is the European at noon on Thursday, and it's pretty similar. It's got mostly light rain here. So uh, Thursday, cloudy, cool, periods of light rain. I'd say the high would be in the low 50s. But Friday, we start to look a whole lot better. Uh, Friday should, should be mostly sunny uh, with a high in the low to mid 60s, and Saturday looks good. Uh, mostly sunny with upper 60s. That's going to feel fantastic. So if you got something planned outdoors, that clearly is going to be your day because Sunday, evidence of maybe some rain in here. Now, this run, not very aggressive with the rain on Sunday. It's got a wave pretty far south in the Gulf. Here's the European on Sunday. It looks very dry. So the, the 12Z runs, 
Look like Sunday could be kind of cloudy, but maybe not too wet. We'll mention some risk of showers, but I don't think it rains a lot based on this. And this is Monday. And again, the wave energy is way south of here. And if this is right, Monday would be a dry day. And highs would stay in the 60s on Sunday and Monday. But there's some uncertainty here because, you know, the models have not been very consistent. We'll check the end of the forecast. This is March 19th. And I uh, got some troughing action back in the southwest United States. But around here, if that's the case, it would be kind of mild and dry. And the good news, no sign of any severe weather threats or winter weather mischief issues through mid-month. And that's good because this is March when any of that is possible. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog next video by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can, catch us on ABC 3340 News this evening on the live stream or the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless.